morning students how are you all very good today in this class we are going to study graph okay we are going to learn the graph first we are going to see the topic noun okay noun so let us see the definition of the noun what is meant by noun it is a name of the person place thing or an animal okay noun is nothing but it is the name it is the name of the person place thing or an animal so the example of noun is ram is a boy okay ram is a boy in the sentence what is noun see we have already seen the definition as noun is nothing but it is the name okay it is a specific name of a person place thing or an animal so in the sentence look at this the first word ra so what is it indicates is this indicates the person very good so ra indicates the person so it is the noun ra is a boy so it indicates the person so in the sentence ra is a noun the second one i live in chennai i live in chennai so i identify the chennai is a name of a place chennai is a name of a place they have written place so in the sentence chennai is the noun elephants are very big elephants are very big in the sentence elephants indicates the animal elephant indicates the animal so elephant is noun I have a pen. I have a pen. So, what does pen a pen mean? Pen it indicates the object. Okay, it indicates the object. So, in the sentence, pen is a noun. Shall we read the definition once again? It is a name of a person, place, thing, or an animal. Repeat once again. Noun is nothing but it is the name of a person place thing or an animal look at here i have given you five sentences shall we identify the nouns in the sentence the first sentence is sheela sings beautifully okay sheela sings beautifully so what is noun here very good so the noun is sheela because this word sheela indicates the name it's the name of a particular person so it is uh, she has the noun look at the second sentence the rabbit is white in color the rabbit is white in color so what is the noun in the second sentence very good the rabbit so it indicates the name of a animal okay the rabbit is white in color so the rabbit is noun in the sentence because it is the name of the My friend is coming from Bangalore. My friend is coming from Bangalore. So in the sentence there are two nouns. Can you put your identify? Very good. So the first noun is my friend. So my friend. It may be he or she, a boy or a girl. So my friend is a noun. Is coming from Bangalore. So what does Bangalore indicate? Bangalore indicates the place so the name of a place so my friend bangalore so these two words are the noun in this sentence the fourth one the book is on the table the book is on the table so what is the noun in the sentence very good the book so what is it indicates the book is the name of the object and there is a one more noun look at here the table so the table also refers to the object so the book the table is the noun in this sentence at last i bought a new dress i bought a new dress so what is the noun here very good i so i is the person okay bought a new dress so dress is the object So in this sentence also there are two nouns. I dress. Shall we read the definition once again? 
Now it is a name of the person, place, thing or an animal. Okay. It is the name of the person, place, thing or an animal. Look at this image children. So they have given some examples for noun. We have already seen what does noun means. Noun is a person, place, animal or thing. So they have given examples for person. Girl, boy, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, Mrs. Johns. For place, school, home, playground, zoo. For animal, dog, Bee, frog, cow, lizard. And the example for thing is book, flower, shoe, pencil. Okay, students. Next, we are going to see what is meant by verb. Okay. So let us read the definition first. The verb indicates an action. Every sentence requires a verb. It is used to describe an action. The verb indicates an action. So what is meant by action? It is of doing something. Okay, it is of doing something. So the verb is nothing but it indicates an action. Every sentence requires a verb. Every sentence requires a verb. So what is meant by sentence? Group of words. If in a sentence there is no verb, the sentence will be incomplete. Okay, so every sentence needs a verb. It is used to describe an action. It is used to describe an action. The verb indicates an action. Every sentence requires a verb. It is used to describe an action. So, I have given you some examples. I am teaching. I am teaching. What am I doing? I am teaching to you. So, it indicates an action. So, it is known as the verb. The boy is running. The boy is running. So, the boy is not standing in the same place. What he is doing? He is running. So, the running indicates an action. They are playing. They are playing. So, playing is also an action. So, it is known as the verb. She is dancing. She is dancing. So, in this sentence, dancing is the verb. Shall we read once again? The verb indicates an action. Every sentence requires a verb. It is used to describe an action. Action means nothing but is of doing something. Okay? So, I have given you some sentences. Shall we identify what is the verb? Look at the first one. The dog walks on seeing him. The dog walks on seeing him. Can we able to identify the noun in the first sentence? Very good. The noun, uh, the noun is the dog. We have already seen. Noun is nothing but it is the name of the person, place, thing or an animal. Here in this sentence, the dog indicates the animal. Okay, it indicates the name of the animal. So it is known as the noun. Okay, now uh, see what is the verb here? The dog walks on seeing him. So what is the dog doing? The dog is walking. Okay, the dog is walking on seeing somebody. Okay. So box is the verb in this sentence because it indicates an action. Second one. Mala is writing a letter. Mala is writing a letter. What is Mala doing? Yes, Mala is writing. She is writing a letter. So the writing indicates an action. It indicates an action. It is known as the verb. The third one. The cat is sitting on the wall. The cat is sitting on the wall. So in this sentence, sitting is the verb. I play every day. I play every day. Okay, tell me, children, what is the word in the fourth sentence? Very good. The word play. What indicates? It indicates an action. Okay, the, um, the subject, the person is playing. It indicates the action. Fifth one. He goes to school by bus. He goes to school by bus. Here, what is the verb? Very good. 
Look at this second image. What is a verb? A verb is a word that shows an action or state of being. In other words, they explain what something is or is doing. So, the example is, he ran quickly. Here, ran is the action word. He is happy. So, this has been a state of being. Okay, students. Next, we are going to see about there are three persons. First person, second person, third person. Okay. In first person, they comes I, we. Repeat. I, we. I is the singular and we is the plural. In second person, they comes you. You is both singular and plural. In third person, he, she, it, they. So, he, she, it or singular and they is plural. Shall we read once again? In pronouns, there are three persons. First person, I, we. I is the singular, P is the plural. In second person, they comes you. You is both singular and plural. In third person, they comes he, she, it and they. He, she, it are singular and they is the plural. Have you understood what is to be pronounced? Okay. Next, we are going to see what is meant by sentence. What is meant by sentence? Look at the definition here. A sentence is a group of words containing a subject and a verb. When a sentence is written, it begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. A sentence is a group of words. So, it is not a single word. It is a group of words containing a subject and a verb. So, what does the sentence contain? It contains a subject and the verb. So, we have already seen what is meant by a subject. Subject means it is nothing but the noun. What is meant by noun students? Very good. Noun is the name of the person, place, thing or an animal. So, what is meant by verb? Verb means it is of doing some action. A sentence is a group of words containing a subject and a verb. When a sentence is written, it begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. When a sentence is written, it begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. So, how does the sentence uh, start? It starts with the capital letter and it ends with a full stop. So, it is known as the sentence. Shall we read once again? A sentence is a group of words containing a subject and a verb. When a sentence is written, it begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. So, I have given example. I am right. I am waiting for the train. I am wait, uh, waiting for the train. So, the sentence starts with the capital letter I and it also ends with a full stop. So, this is known as the sentence. Shall we read the definition once again? A sentence is a group of words. See, look at that. There is not a single word. There is a group of words containing a subject and a verb. So, what is the subject here? I is the subject. And waiting is the verb. When a sentence is written, it begins with a capital letter. So, the sentence starts with the capital letter and ends with the full stop. Okay. Next, we are going to see about the types of sentences. Okay, types of sentences. There are four types of sentences. How many types? Four types. The first one is assertive sentence, interrogative sentence, imperative sentence, exclamatory sentence. Repeat once again. Assertive sentence, interrogative sentence, imperative sentence, exclamatory sentence. So, in this class we are going to see about only two types. The first one is assertive sentence. So, what is meant 
the second sentence. It states something. The sentence ends with full stop. Okay? It states something. Something has been stated in the sentence. The sentence ends with the full stop. Look at the example here. The boy is playing cricket. The boy is playing cricket. So what is the subject here? The boy. And the verb? Playing. So something has been stated by the boy. Okay, the boy is playing cricket. The second example. Priya is watching TV. Priya is watching TV. So something has been stated by Priya. So it is known as the assertive sentence. And the sentence ends to the full stop. Look at here. Sentence ends to the full stop. And something has been stated here. Assertive sentence. It states something. The sentence ends with full stop. So the second type is the interrogative sentence. It is a sentence that asks questions. Okay? It starts with the question word WH. It ends with the question mark. The question will also be in a yes or no type. It is a sentence that asks questions. So interrogative sentence is nothing but it is a asking question. It starts with the question word WH. So how the sentence starts? It starts with the question word. So what is my question word? The word which starts with WH. Who, who, who's like that. Okay? It ends with the question mark. So for the example here, the sentence ends with the question mark. The question will also be in a yes or no type. So the question won't start only with the WH word but also it answers to the question with yes or no type. Look at the example. Are you happy? So the sentence doesn't start with the question for WH. Are you happy? It answers to the it answers to the question yes. Okay, are you happy? So what, what will be the answer? Either yes or no. So it is known as the interrogative. Shall I come? So in the sentence also, the sentence doesn't start with the question for WH, but it answers to yes or no. Uh, shall I come? So the answer will be either yes or no. That is known as the yes or no type. Where are you going? So the sentence starts with WH but ends with the question mark. It is known as the interrogative sentence. Shall I read once again? It is a sentence that asks question. It starts with the question word WH. It ends to the question mark. The question will also be in an example type. Example, are you happy? Shall I come? Where are you going? For these two sentences, it answers to yes or no, and it also ends with the question mark. And in the last sentence, the sentence starts with the double H word and ends with the question mark. So this is known as the interrogative sentence. Okay, students, now let us see how to change the interrogative sentence into assertive sentence. Changing interrogative sentence into assertive sentence. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? So what type of sentence is this? Very good. It is the interrogative sentence because the sentence ends with the question mark and this answers to yes or no type. So the answer will be either yes or no. Okay, so this is the interrogative sentence and we are going to change uh, this interrogative sentence into assertive sentence. While changing into an assertive sentence, what you have to do? You have to add, you have to write the subject first. So what is the subject in the sentence? You. Okay, so you. Next the B verb. Are. So we have already seen what is meant by B verb. Uh, and this are, was and were. So you are. Next the verb. Ready to go. Okay, while changing into assertive sentence, you should start with the subject. You and the uh, B verb are. The main verb ready to go. You are ready to go. Okay, so this is the assertive sentence. The sentence in the assertive ends with the full stop. Okay, have you understood this? Are you ready to go? You are ready to go. So this is the assertive sentence. And the second one. Can you come with me? Can you come with me? So this is also an interrogative sentence. So the answer will be either yes or no. Now we are going to change this sentence into assertive. So what is the subject here? You. So we are writing the verb can and the main verb come with me. You can come with me. The sentence ends with 
full stop. So this is the assertive sentence. The third one. Where they crouched in a small forest. Where they crouched in a small forest. So this interrogative sentence has been changed into assertive type. So what is the subject here? Very good. The subject in the sentence is they. And where we were. The main verb crouched in a small forest. They were crouched in a small forest. The sentence ends with full stop. Okay. So you have to remove the question words. Okay. Are you ready to go? So the answer will be you are ready to go in assertive type. Can you come with me? So in, by writing assertive you have to start with the subject. You can come. You, you have to write the verb come with me. Me. Where they crouched in a small forest. So in this sentence, the subject is they and we are we were both. So where the main verb is crouched in a small forest. They were crouched in a small forest and you have to uh, keep the full stop at last. Okay. So this is for your home assignment. Complete page number 21 in your book. Complete the given worksheet. Okay, so in page number 21, there are uh, sentences given in uh, interrogative type. You have to change into assertive. Okay, complete the given worksheet. So we will meet in the next class. Thank you, students.